The proposed appropriations for the Department of Tourism and its attached agencies and corporations under Senate Finance Committee Report 335 or the 2025 General Appropriations Bill amounts to three billion six hundred seventy million four hundred eighty six thousand pesos. The distribution of the proposed appropriation is as follows Office of the Secretary three billion seventy nine million one hundred sixty thousand Intramuros Administration one hundred forty five million seven hundred fourteen thousand National Parks Development Committee three hundred eighty one million one hundred seventy eight thousand Philippine Commission on Sports Scuba Diving twenty four million four hundred thirty four thousand under the budgetary support to government corporations tourism infrastructure and enterprise zone authority 40 million i'm now ready to accept questions from your honor thank you thank you mr president um thank you also to our sponsor our uh, force our dita ganda uh, uh, for um, defending the budget of the department of tourism First of all, I'm surprised that I think that um, one of the, low, the lowest hanging fruit among the industries is uh, the tourism industry. Of course, we have the natural beauty. And uh, first of all, we would like to thank the DOT family under Secretary Christina Frasco for, for, um, very, uh, for their uh, very um, aggressive uh, marketing. No? You know, we love the Philippines and we're hoping that uh, the that uh, we can tap the vast potential of the tourism industry and uh, if we we can get half of what probably Thailand and other ASEAN nation, our uh, neighbors is getting, then that will be a big help to our economy. Um, just to ask, uh, first of all, um, um, our sponsor, um, the DOT is asking for, uh, I think I heard about an additional 400 million if I'm not mistaken, of their budget, I may ask what programs um, are um, included in this uh, request for additional um, budget, for their additional budgetary requirements. Thank you, for your question. Thank you for your question, Mr. President. That's over 400 million, right? That was requested. Um, we know that these are infrastructure projects, roads leading to various tourism destinations nationwide. This was part of the request of the department under the National Expenditure Program. Unfortunately, due to the tight fiscal space, this was made part of tier two in the DBM. And even this representation, as much as I would like to support it, because I know that how can we even expect to appreciate a waterfalls or a lake or a mountain area if there's no accessibility, there's no access road. Um, and this would cover dive tourism, health and wellness tourism, sports tourism of which you are promoting as well, nature-based tourism, uh, culture tourism, uh, etc. Uh, this more than 400 um, million request, uh, unfortunately, was placed in tier two and was not even included in the House of Representatives uh, bill, the GAB, and um, it would be very difficult for this representation to give the whole amount. If I would be happy, if your honor would uh, help me amend a part of it, perhaps even in the BICAM, but we know very well that of the six trillion budget, it's six trillion, right, more or less? Yes, we know that when we slice yes. from somewhere, uh, it, the pie would have to suffer. And um, you are correct, and I agree with you, that tourism is a low-hanging fruit, and tourism, both uh, foreign arrivals and domestic tourists, really would spur a robust, um, localized economic livelihood, especially community-based and community-managed tourism. However, you are correct, the 491 million uh, infrastructure uh, projects that were requested uh, were not all accommodated. Well, uh, Your Honor, Mr. President, um, 
You know, every time I, I travel and uh, I, uh, I go to, uh, especially to ASEAN neighbors, I really feel that, you know, um, they've got so much, um, they get the bulk of the tourism. No? But I, I always tell myself, Your Honor, that, Mr. President, that the Philippines is far more beautiful than the other areas. Just uh, um, Pattaya in Thailand, Chiang Mai, um, what else, in, in Indonesia, uh, Malaysia, you know, uh, there are no match to our beaches. And now, uh, I would like to also uh, support your honor, um, the sponsor, uh, Senator Lauren, uh, in the bike camp, if we can, because as uh, uh, we both agree that the vast potential, and uh, as this is a low hanging fruit among our uh, potential uh, in uh, revenue gener um, earners, if we can uh, concentrate on areas that are really um, um, have big potential for tourism. No? Um, napansin ko po, when you, sa, mga pag, sa, mga, sa mga tourist areas sa ibang bansa, it's really complete. No? And I agree with the tourism secretary in, her, in uh, what they plan to do, complete with the infrastructure, complete with, the, of course, yung, po yung, mga, yung support, um, um, restroom, stops, everything. Um, all going to uh, the tourism areas. How many tourism uh, areas ha are uh, identified or uh, that will be prioritized? So that, uh, siguro that uh, will we be prioritizing, for example, five or ten potential uh, areas that we will really be promoting? And uh, concentrate on the infrastructure activities, uh, uh, infrastructure projects in those areas. Mr. President, we believe that of the 81 provinces, um, each area has its beauty, whether mountains or the sea. And uh, while I would like to mention, let's say, specific traditional areas that they are promoting, I am told, and I agree, that we are promoting the whole country. Meaning, traditionally, we would say Cebu, or perhaps, um, Batangas, mm -hmm. or perhaps Boracay, but it does not mean that the other provinces and the other areas are not worth promoting, which they are. And so there is not just one, two, or three specific areas. And in fact, under the Philippine Experience Program, which the uh, DOT under this administration has institutionalized, where they had focused not just on sun and sand, but also on nature, on culture, on heritage, on um, culinary heritage and gastronomy, on historical heritage, on arts, on living traditions, um, on the creative industries. Uh, they have gone to the less known areas. And this is good, not just for foreign tourists arriving, but also the great untapped potential of domestic tourism. I am pleasantly surprised to learn, Mr. President, that while we compare ourselves with other countries, that there are, let's say, only five million compared to the tens of millions of the other ASEAN neighbors. But in terms of tourism expenditures uh, for domestic tourism, the Philippines, I am told, based on the World Tourism Council, is number one in Southeast Asia. And I'm holding here a document which shows that the Philippines is the biggest domestic tourism market in Southeast Asia uh, in year 2023 with 52.1 uh, billion US dollars or 32.9% share compared to ASEAN. Meaning that, and this is domestic tourism, right? Because we have the tendency, and rightly so, that we compare ourselves to our ASEAN neighbors. Bakit ang Thailand ganito, tayo ganito lang. But because also, perhaps, of our 110 million Filipinos, perhaps we could also focus on uh, the exchange of uh, tourists of the various islands of the country. So I take note of the WTC uh, report. Not us, not the PSA, that the 
that Thailand is only second to the Philippines in terms of the percentage share of domestic tourism expenditures um, eh, domestically. So uh, to wrap up, the question, uh, the answer to your question is not one area is focused, but really loving the whole Philippines, loving the culture, the nature, the heritage, the creative industries, and the people. Well, I agree. We really have to love the journey and love the Philippines. Yeah, that's the tagline. And, and I, you, have, you have greatly contributed to that. I see you online, Mr. President. How yes. you go to the less uh, yes. Tramble, trodden, Tramble. treaded Tramble. areas, uh, not just the usual commercial, traditional spots we go to. Yes. And I think um, that's the way to go. I agree. I, I, th I think the sponsor. Eh, ito guys, Senator Loren Ligarda, siniwala at ang million-billion na billion-billion na budget ng uh, tourism uh, department gusto ni PBBM na maging uh, house house tourism house uh, tourism ang Pilipinas. Ayun, comment reaction tayo dito and don't forget to subscribe, like and share. Panoorin na rin itong susunod na video sponsor uh, for being consistent also in as promoting tourism and of course the again uh, the very proactive and the very aggressive um, um, programs of under the of DOT now under uh, Secretary Christina and uh, I agree that we really have to promote uh, those areas that are called hidden treasures in fact uh, as you mentioned uh, your honor mr. president and my own Advocacy is my own contribution, being a rider, uh, and I thank the DOT and the, the, the Tourism Motions Board for continuing the Philippine motorcycle tourism. That is our aim, to, um, to promote the lesser known but hidden treasures, so that, that it can, in, in our way, we can, in our own little way, we can help um, the economy through tourism. So um, that is why, be, be rest assured that we will uh, support you during the bike camp, should there be a need uh, um, to augment the different infrastructure needs of um, the OT, so that they, they will have the support for the areas no, that are uh, have big potential for um, tourism. Uh, Maybe just, you would like to amend the budget for the motorcycle tourism program, which is part of the TPB, uh, domestic marketing and promotion efforts. Uh, you, among all the 24 senators, 23, uh, you're the only one I can think of who would really yes. espouse and advocate for the increase in the budget of the motorcycle tourism program. Yes, because um, it's a very measly budget of seven, 10 seven. million. A uh, 7 million, yeah. 17 million this year and only 7 million in 2025 for next year. Yes, uh, thank you for uh, pointing that out. Um, uh, Seto Lorn, our, our, our uh, Madam Sponsor, um, given the fact that Philippine motorcycle tourism has really taken off and it has really helped pr to promote um, hidden treasures, has helped the domestic tourism and uh, our future. No? We will be inviting um, foreign riders as well. And uh, be rest assured that uh, from 17 million, it, um, it was slashed to seven, 7 million and I will... Uh, um, be introducing amendments to, to add uh, to this budget so that at least it can be retained. And li likewise, actually, I, um, I would like to propose another one since the Philippine motorcycle tourism has really taken off already, another, another um, program that can be explored is the cyclotourism, which will, can promote um, health, and likewise promote that beautiful sites. No? We can add this probably. Sigura, we can add a few millions, but we can promote to, we can to hurt, uh, hit two birds with one stone, promote health and tourism as well. Yung cycle, bicycle tourism. And there are that other riders add. as well present in, in this uh, hall that right is correct. now. Um, uh, Senator Bato de la Rosa is here. I'm sure that he will also support and probably make amendments. Probably so. Um, yes. Perhaps not just uh, motorcycle tourism, but cycling as well. Yes, yes between those who ride uh, motorcycles and those who ride, uh, who do bikes, um, at least perhaps half of the chamber, one third or half of the chamber do that, yes. And likewise, um, before I end, um, 
my uh, my interpellation your honor mr president also i'd like to point out and uh, congratulate uh, the gm of um tsm uh, mark center uh, uh, gm mark lapid no for um yung yung po mga areas that i pointed out in some in the other budget hearings uh, there are um, there are uh, assets of tsa that have long been forgotten no sabi ko tulad po ng banawe uh, terraces hotel which well, i had the on uh, i had the uh, the chance to stay there probably six seven years ago when i was riding your honor and uh, you know banawe is considered the rice terraces the eighth wonder of the world it's really one of our uh, uh, treasures but the banawe rice the te banawe terrace hotel naku po yung pictures fix fixtures niya 80s pa powder blue baby pink ah uh, baby ano to powder blue blue pink ganun pa very old and now it is it is already undergoing re uh, renovation no talagang halos totally so we are excited no that um, with the reopening of the banawe terrace hotel and I will, uh, no, with, so together with Central Bato, probably we can help promote, no, yung again, Ifugao and Banawi Rice Terraces, really as our uh, eighth wonder of the world, no, with the uh, with the pending uh, the pending uh, opening of the Banawi Terrace Hotel. So, I'm um, advice ko po kay uh, GM Mark no, before in in uh, one of those hearings that we just concentrate on a few um, areas and uh, siguro if we can. Uh, um, uh, have the TSA assets and the infrastructure be brought into those um, tourism areas. And I'm glad that uh, they have already done that. Kasi po dati pinag-ati-atian eh. Alam nyo no, pagdating sa 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 sa, iba, sa house, no? Siyempre, we don't, we, we can't, ano also, but even in agri-areas, they ask also for tourism projects. But I'm, I'm glad that TSA now is now concentrating on areas that have really potential for tourism. So, thank, and, and I hope, that, I hope they, would, they would continue that. Yes, Mr. President. In fact, TIESA is also the funding arm of the tourist rest areas, which this administration um, initiated. Uh, there were 10 pilot for this year, but next year there's around 22 that are earmarked to be built in different areas of the country, and perhaps more should be built because it's very basic to have decent, clean uh, bathrooms, rest areas, souvenir shops where tourists, even domestic tourists, can can rest. So we expect more of that, and that's under Tiesa. And uh, before I end, Siguro, uh, I think the minority leader will be next online. He is also a fellow member of mine in the GCI organization, just to to uh, advise our Secretary of Tourism, by 2026, uh, we will be expecting about 4,000 uh, foreign delegates. We have just won a bid in uh, Clark for the Junior Chamber International GCI World Congress, which will be held in uh, Clark by 2026. We last hosted, no? Si, si uh, Saint Coco was with, with me. Uh, we were together. He was with JCI Manila back then. I was the hosting national president in 1998 not too long ago when we heard we hosted the world congress with with about 4500 foreign and local delegates so after 26 years at uh, 28 years uh, the jc world congress will be back in clark and i think we will i uh, we will be very very um, optimistic that you know it we will be showing the whole world no how how the beauty of the philippines so i'm sure that uh, the DOT family will be will be very ready. So, with that, I just brought out this good news that uh, just a few weeks ago we just won the bid for the World Congress in Clark. Thank you. That's all, Madam Chair. Thank you very much, uh, Senator JV, Mr. President, for those uh, questions which are meant to enhance the budget of the Department of Tourism. Thank you for your advocacy. Majority Leader, you can uh, resume your functions as Majority Leader. Yes, I honor Mr. President. Next to... Uh, to interpolate is uh, Senator Joel Villanueva, but uh, uh, the minority leader would want to uh, to be last, no? So, a minute suspension, Your Honor. Session suspended for one minute.
I'd like to greet the good secretary. Good afternoon. May hapon, ma'am. May hapon sa imong team. Of course, to the dear sponsor, Senator Lauren Legarda. Mine is not a question. I'm not going to bother you with any questions. Mine is actually 1,000% support to the Department of, uh, of uh, Tourism. As a matter of fact, I've been fighting for you in all the departments that I meet with the DOTR, with the DILG, with the, with the um, um, DS, um, sorry, the DPWH, on how we should really push for a whole government approach on tourism, uh, Mr. President. And my dear, the dear sponsor, Senator Lauren Legarda, knows this, that the DOT cannot do it alone. Uh, if, they, if they are left alone in trying to promote all our tourism spots, nothing will happen to our, our country. And it's sad to note that with our, uh, uh, I believe, October, uh, October numbers of about 4.